I'm Janine and I'm the villa host for Seasons Away. I've lived in Provence for almost 20 years. What I love best about the Provence is that even though I feel that I've covered every track and every path and found every good goat cheese or every great honey maker, I haven't. I'm still discovering even as a guide. I'm forever meeting new people, finding new paths and making wonderful discoveries. Guests should come to Provence because it's a beautiful little spot in the south of Europe. It's a country that has everything to offer and more. Um, it's, there's everything for all. It's not just for one age group. It can cover for every age group. There's history, there's culinary, there's fun, there's sports, there's nature. There's just so much to do. My interaction with the guests takes mainly the sheer waste of time, valuable holiday time, uh, puts it to use rather than them wasting a couple of days just trying to find the best baguette or where to go, what to do, what to see, what to visit, um, to kick off. Um, I take all of that all of that difficulty away from them. Just having a simple villa rental and somebody leaving the key under the mat, you're left out there in the middle of nowhere to fend for yourselves. You can buy all the guidebooks that are out there, and there's a lot, but they will never ever replace a personal, hands-on, local person that can be there and answer your every desire, every question there and then. It's, it's incomparable. Guests first arrive uh, after numerous hours of traveling and maybe um, you know the inconvenience of having a delay or losing their baggage and all of that very irritated and cranky um, they arrive to the house I open the door with a big warm welcome and all the curtains are open the, the, the sun and the air is in there's a welcome buffet and drinks the flowers are all freshly displayed and just by my being there opening the door and saying welcome please come in and being able to say can I help you with anything can I sort out your lost luggage for you? Can I take that pain away and you just get on with your vacation? It just, oh, it's almost like I gave them all a massage as they walked through the door. My favorite moment of 2010 was being a guide uh, from eight to the morning until six at night for two weeks for a group of 16. They were, for the first time in Provence, it was, wonderful being their guide. They all called me kiddo, which made me feel really young. And the day I had to drive them to the train station, they all lined up for getting onto their train and each one hugged me and cried. And one little lady gave me her recipe for oxtail soup. And I was really crying and very, very sad to see them all go. And two weeks after they left, one evening I got a phone call and the chap who's 90, he called me and he said, I just want you to know that we all miss you.